It's right behind, behind a tree, but not really. <clears throat> All right, one last time. I'm gonna roast. It's gonna be a roast. I did things this week. I drank too much orange juice, got cold, blah, blah, blah. Uh, sorted out, camera was angry because double chroma key, don't do that. I learned controls for slug. Ugh. I learned controls for Astro Neuron controller, and I figured out how Slither.io was played because I didn't realize I was a goomba. A goomba. But that's fine. That's not what we're here to talk about. Talk about here. Talking here about the art in the room. I don't know what it is that I'm being asked and pulled to make. I thought I knew what I was doing, the direction I wanted to go, the point, the goal. Because I didn't treat this as content creation. I still did performance stuff. I, I VTubed. I made videos. I did with lava streams. But that was never what it was. It was always an art piece to me. Because that meant that the whole point of it was to ask questions. To ask something of the world, of the audience. Not always in a direct poll or line of dialogue, but to be an investigation into why things function the way they do in the VTubing sphere. I don't get some things. And I think a lot of other VTubers find the same thing. Like, there's some stuff that were just like, I, I don't understand. It just is how it is. It's how it's done. And even if there's, like, explanation or context, it's just like, is this even the best choice? No, maybe not, but it's just what we do. And I think it's more than necessary and worth asking such questions. Because nothing will change. We won't have solutions if we won't ask a question. We'll never see a different ability possibility results if we don't think there's something worth investigating or trying in the first place. And so, this is where I reach the roadblock. I could be a goofy gamer and energy bomb of fun do all my stuffs and artins. I could do it in a manner of content creation. And I don't know if that's the right choice. And I don't know what the direct answer, proper answer is. But it's a blue moon. And I'm being asked to do something or make a choice of some sort. And while I'm scared to do so, something has to be done. I don't know if I can always be a VTuber for VTubers, making solely pieces of artwork, always asking, putting a demand of consideration to others, to viewers, because not all viewers will even see it that way. Some people will simply see it as the visuals, as the, the time piece, the entertainment, and I don't know if that's necessarily what I'm trying to build or cultivate. I don't know that solely people asking and thinking of what every single googly eye means and why this tail is part paw or stuff and the consideration of like the different designs or layouts. I do enjoy that. It, it means a lot to me. I sit and make all this stuff. Why would I do that if I didn't care about it? If I didn't think that this built on whatever other thing. But at the same time, I don't know if that's solely the dialogue and the audience and people I want. Because for the most part in the art sphere, people don't like to be interactive. I'm guilty of this as well. If I'm physically in person, like, oh yeah, I will, I will stand up on stage, I will talk, I will yap, I'll do whatever. <laughs> But online, I'm so guilty of this. Like, I will be a, a lurker in streamers' chats. Because I will verbally respond, but, like, I won't sit and type a message because I just- I can't keep up in that sphere, and it, it's just- It's a social cue I- I didn't understand. 
I just thought that they've done anything wrong. I just, it, it was just never how I functioned. So trying to get myself to learn that and try to figure out what to do now. It's a learning curve. <laughs> but yeah. So. I might not have all the answers. But I think I know that regardless, whatever form or amount of time or how I continue, I think being a VTuber for VTubers to an extent and making VTubing stuff that is specifically art pieces of asking, of question, and posing alternatives and new ways of existing in this sphere, I think that's important. And I think that I have to continue that to some extent, no matter what. But the entire direction, the best point or choice, I don't know yet. And hopefully, by the light of the full moon, I will. So for now, I'll leave this roast with a goofily gaming. We'll pick a game. We'll do a something at 7.30 because my throat is ow. And I, I do want to improve things and try to do some more stuff. But I think I'm even more scared and yet excited and happy to see Whatever on Earth goes down at 12 a.m. tonight. That's right. I have committed to bad sleep schedule choicings. I don't know what my answer is. What it'll do or say, but... Hopefully... Whatever happens at 12 a.m. stream-wise... I'm excited. Doesn't mean I'm not scared, but might as well head to something that I never expected I'd get the chance or be willing to try or do. So, I don't see why I shouldn't be excited. Even if it's scary and probably a lot of work and I'm gonna have to learn a game engine at some point and blah blah blah. blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay. Alright. Bye for now. GG, 7.30, 12 a.m., I cry. Uh...